Thank you for joining us to part my 56 gondola re-roping. We have two kits, our 12 foot regular kit and our extended kit which is 16 feet. We have two diagrams, a full rope diagram and our motor housing diagram. A lot of units that come in, people have re-roped the unit wrong. Let's show you how not to restring the motor housing unit. We have also removed the gears and the motor assembly so you have a better picture. Usually people just take the string and wrap it around the pulley. But as you can see, there's no grip. The correct way is to restring it as you see in the diagram. Put it through the pulley, run it around the larger motor pulley, and loop it all the way around again. Sometimes it'll take couple of tries because the rope has a tendency to slip off the pulley. But be patient. Once you get it around, slip it through the other side under the pulley. As you can see, we have the guard. The guard prevents the string from popping off the pulley. This is very important. We have taken the unit apart to show you how the string runs through the unit. To restring a unit, you do not have to disassemble the whole unit. If you go by the melting of the string, you will be able to pull a new rope through the unit without dismantling all the screws. As you can see, when you pull the rope through, this is what happens. This will save you a lot of time and effort by doing a few tricks in the beginning of the video. Now, for the other side, which is a tall tower, it only wraps around once just one loop because it's not on the motor side and it's just follower. Now from the edge of the gondola to the edge of the building it's approximately eight and a half inches. So that's eight and a half inches from the knot to the building. That's the proper distance. 
Now, from the knot to the gondola car, it's another eight and a half inches. Now, a tip here. Once you have measured everything, you'll tie a knot around the gondola car pulley. Double knot it. Now, one of the biggest tips that I can give you is add a drop of glue. Crazy glue, Gorilla glue, any glue to the knot. Don't get it on the plastic. This will prevent the string from unraveling as the unit is running and ending up that your gondola will drop on the floor and probably break. Allow the glue to dry before operating the unit. When you restring the unit and retie it to all the gondola cars, do the same process over again. Cut off the excess string if you have any. Now, as you can see, from the gondola car to the knot, 8.5 inches. This will allow the knot to hit the switch and will give the proper distance so the cars are not hitting up against the tower when they go back and forth. At Happy Holidays Parts of Repair, we have a test unit. This test unit is showing how the mechanism works once it's stringed. The knot hits the little bar, hits the switch, it makes it go backward. Now, once everything's done, you can put your display back up and you'll have a wonderful Christmas or holiday display for family and friends. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching our informative video series at Happy Holidays Parts and Repair, where the love of Christmas is all year round. Thank you for joining us.